I wish I could say I'm able to share such good news in progress. I have some to share. I will have to focus on that to highlight so that I don't get into a downward spiral about all of the things that have been have that have gone wrong, all the things that have been mishandled and all frustrated. I honestly how frustrated I am to have been put all this hard work, this energy, this effort into uh, a career that is not happening. And, you know, I, I'm, I just, I cannot continue to spin my wheels about this, but I do want to make sure to communicate to people who do care about my life and livelihood, who do want me to have opportunities and, and wanted to be able to, you know, I, in reference to uh, talent work primarily that I have put so much into to have this career. Uh, and I want to share these things with you, not because I'm trying to be negative, not because I'm trying to complain, um, but I should be capitalizing, capitalizing on successes, on being able to um, be thriving, not just merely trying to survive and struggling to do so. So uh, first, first thing is first, uh, you know, I've been with an agency here uh, in North Carolina for many years. It was overall it was a very good experience and I uh, was able to get some really good commercial uh, work uh, with some bigger clients in uh, my day rate uh, two decades or so ago. Day rate was uh, about $1,000, 800 to 1000 for a two hour shoot with some bigger commercial clients. Um, I always wanted to, I had a passion for fashion always, and, uh, uh, but I am petite, I'm 5'4", so is Kate Moss, and I'm not saying I'm Kate Moss, but I certainly have my, uh, am a chameleon, and I have my, uh, my skills and talents to offer as well, but I have been very much overlooked here, discriminated against over the past, however long <laughs> I have been, uh, coping with racism, with sexual discrimination, with death threats, and, you know, I don't want to associate this with being in the South, but I am living in the South. And uh, the agencies that I thought would be willing to, to work with me to represent me, and I do my best to be professional. I am not perfect. I make mistakes. Uh, I, you know, but I do my best. I work very hard and I have, I have, I have put everything I can into being able to do this. And I do not have an agency here in North Carolina who is willing to even give me the time of day. And I have spent hours upon ends. You know, it's been, it's not just been a full-time job. He has been working, I've been working overtime to try to make this happen, to try to, to have a career. And I have not been able to be, have one project since I had, to be honest with you, this is how, and I will calculate how many auditions I have put so much into, you know, self-tape or in person, whatever. Uh, my last, the only project that I've had was an industrial project. Uh, and this is not having agency support, and I also have an agency support. Um, but I know they're trying to help help uh, to book something, but it's not happening. Uh, Micron was the last industri industrial project I had, and that I've been trying to do a new demo reel, but all of my all the projects I've had are when I have black hair and I look traditionally uh, Asian or the ethnic, and ethnic's in that's great, but. Nobody's willing to represent, which is, you know, I don't say nobody, um, but basically I have not been able to have any projects. I have not been able to be cast, have a callback. I have not even been cast in a student film. Um, and I have, I have been spinning my wheels, trying so hard. I am at my most capable. I am at the prime of my life. I have more than one uh, talent to offer. I'm a quadruple talent. I have plenty of background. I am a chameleon. I can do more than one look. If you want ethnic? I can do ethnic look. I can wear, you know, whatever. What is the disconnect that I am not able to, you know, people have been defaming me, trying to ruin my reputation. And not is this only a problem with not having a career by uh, slandering someone, making up things that are not true and spreading it all around. So not only is that limiting opportunities to make a living, which it has, which I've been struggling to, but also it's very, very harmful, uh, destructive in terms of, uh, from a psychological aspect. I will be honest with you. I struggle with, I have a mental health diagnosis, plural, 
schizoaffective and bipolar one disorder. I am on disability. I have to have support for my food, for my living, for I have my food stamps. I have to have support to pay my rent. Uh, I have been in a wheelchair before. I am at that point now where I am able to travel. I am doing my best to be healthy. I am doing my best to be professional. I'm doing my best to uh, be a loving, forgiving person. And I have been through so much. Can't afford a manicure. Um, how am I supposed to be a hand model if I can't afford a manicure? I'm trying so hard to have a viable, thriving career. And if I don't have people who are willing to open doors to help me, you know, it's not happening. What 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 is going on here? That, you know, after I have plenty of experience, uh, but... I have I have had scams. I I think I'm going to have to disconnect from some of the social media or at least uh you know uh streamline things. Part of the issue is it's confusing. I know it's confusing my online presence. People make conclude jump to conclusions, make assumptions that not, probably aren't true. Um and I think I've been blacklisted by people who don't understand and and uh so they jump to conclusions. Um and I've had multiple scams. Uh, coming through, people promising me things that aren't true. I've had, they've been issuing fraudulent checks. My whole bank account was closed down because I was a victim to to the fraud, to the scams, and they and they are trying to take things from me. I have uh, you know, go on and on there, and I am struggling just to survive here. I work so hard. Look at this. This art. This artwork here. Painted this couch. I need. I need. I need to have support. With I have had no support in this living here, and you know I'm finding myself more and more frustrated and isolated, and um. So I I I'm I'm trying to reach out. This this eight seven minute long video is not is is me in you know being in a state of desperation trying very hard to maintain my stability to maintain uh all of this and be able to have a place to go where i can rebuild in a community that cares in a community that is mutually supportive myself included i do the best i can to give back i even give to the homeless which i have been before i can relate um I'm doing my best to to be supportive, but I don't have that mutual support. Please help. I'm trying to find uh, talent projects. I'm trying to be able to convey to you in a truthful way what it is I'm capable of, what I can do. I'm trying to connect with the right agencies, but I feel like I'm putting so much effort and energy into all of the projects submitting for. I appreciate the agencies I'm working with. I'm in no way bad mouthing them or anybody else who's rejected who, or anybody who's rejected me but i need to be able to have some green lights some open doors some hands up and some being able to uh have some opportunities here um you know i i'm not new to this industry i'm trying to also have a music career have not been able to have any support with my music i've been jip but people trying to pay me and and, and you know Two decades ago, you know, whatever. When I was working on my first album, had my first album released here, uh, you know, I was getting paid hundreds of dollars for shows, and I could afford to pay my musicians. I am not trying to to dip people here, and only it's not all about me. I know that I'm actually not that selfish and vain. I wanted to be able to pay my musicians. I want to be able to to promote them, pay myself, have 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 a successful career as a real legitimate artist, which I am. But here, I'm not treated that way. I'm treated as an unknown, underappreciated, illegitimate artist, and 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 not even an artist, but someone who who is, um, a washed up, uh, singer songwriter who who just who just just didn't didn't make it. But I don't want to dwell on that. You know, I don't want to be. Going through life with emotional baggage. Yes, it was wrong. Yes, there were there there, there are injustices here, and no, I I didn't deserve to have no support and representation. All those artists out there who are who are striving, making a living, those that not in the limelight, and those who are, uh, you know, Grammy awards aside, they they have had support for their careers, have they not? They have had they have had 
plenty of support. And I have been just trying to survive here. Trying to figure out a way. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to be real about it. And have real relationships and be able to rebuild. I've got a lot of repair work. I've got a lot of healing. I've been through hell. I have been through so much trauma in the past couple of years. I'm amazed that I'm alive. For God's sake. Uh, let's be real with each other. Please don't, don't, uh, believe these things and, and, and look down on me and judge me based on anything. That, that is not based on truth. Uh, and you know, this, the, uh, so I just want to, to, to let whoever cares, whoever's listening, you know, I'm uh, really needing support. Um, I'm worth the time. I'm worth the investment. I'm worth, I'm worth it. And I wrote a song like that, but it hasn't, haven't been able to get anywhere. I'm just trying to, to survive and I want to be able to explore other places. I really love being in Florida. Um, you know, a lot of people in Florida rejected me, but there are people who are representing me. Thank you for those people who gave me this, who are giving me the time as they know that I'm worth it. Um, so I, I'm trying to find opportunities and projects connections resources and i felt very very isolated here and i felt very very broken down and this is not the way this is this is not the way anybody should be treated it's not the way anybody should be living and uh, i'm not paid what i'm worth i am not paid what i deserve and i am not even paid i'm not even able to pay myself i have a tea business that is not working out here either I, it's a lot of manual labor, and I can barely afford the uh, the the the, uh, the cost for inventory. And certainly, production aside, it's been a one woman operation. I cannot I cannot keep up with all this. I have uh, what thirty social media accounts, um, and I will need to streamline. Part of what I was gonna say. Part of the issue is, uh, part of one of the 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 problems is that I have a personal life. Right, everybody does. Uh, celebrities do too. I'm not a celebrity, uh, but I also have a, a, a the life, the uh, career uh, aspect, uh, trying to be able to showcase the, my hard work through my career. I'm not doing this to show off, to elevate myself, uh, to put myself on a pedestal, whatever. I am trying to have a, a career. I'm trying to have a life and a livelihood that is mutually supported and that I'm able to thrive, not just survive. And I have barely been able to. That's all I wanted to uh, conclude, and um, yeah, I, I, that's that's all I can say for now. Um, and I'm having to do everything myself, you know, my hair, my, and I, 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 I'm not trying to complain, but this is important that we're that we're real and true and honest and and forthright. And there have been some some people and some things that have been really wrong. Uh, so I can't continue to live this way. So if you can help me, you can help me with other capacity. You know, trying to connect in these other places, these markets, Florida, New York, whatever. I didn't get there for Fashion Week. I didn't get there for Swim Week. I couldn't even get to Wilmington Beach to, to explore. Um, yeah, I've had a lack of, of, of financial uh, support too. It's not that I'm not capable. It's not that I don't have talents. It's not that I'm not worthy. So, so please help me out here. Uh, I have lots of art. I have lots and lots of art that I put my, my, not blood, sweat, and tears, anything, but yeah, I put a lot, heart and soul into it, and it, it is, you know, I'm not famous as an artist, like some people, but just, just, just means a lot to me, if you, if you can appreciate it, I, I appreciate, I appreciate that you appreciate that, and know that this, this is extension of me, it's expression, it's artistic expression, and it's been art therapy, and I'm ready to share that, I'm ready to find people who can invest in uh who i am and what i'm providing here uh because it's worth it and i should not feel embarrassed or ashamed or guilty about asking for support that i should have had i mean i'm not asking to i'm not doing saying this to try to take from people i'm asking because it is, it's an important exchange um and i believe that we should be open to exchanges that are not just monetary uh, the pilgrims and the indians they trade they trade of goods uh the trade of services as long as it's considered fair trade and all, but I also believe in sponsorships. I have not had any sponsorships, but I do know that there are people who, 
in the industry, both the industries I'm talking about, in the art world too, who have plenty of support. And I don't believe that that's a, a bad thing. Um, we all need it. I'm human. I can only do so much. But I need to be in the place with people who believe in me, who care about my well-being, and want me to, to be having a thriving living life and livelihood. Because I want that to be mutual. And um, it's, it's very important. And I'm at that point in my life where um had so much taken away from me in every capacity in every regard uh i'm 39 years old i know i look like i'm younger uh psychologically placebo effect maybe i'm holding on to my younger years look like i'm in my twins but that's not the point age is just a mile marker i'm trying very hard to uh to rebuild to repurpose things but i'm needing the right people and the right places to be in so please reach out to me. Thank you for reaching out if you already have. I'm sorry if I have not reached back personally. And there, are, just so you know, to clear the air, there are no, I, ha I harbor no hate. I have no hard feelings for anyone or anything. And I'm releasing that in Jesus' name because that is in the act of forgiveness by the grace of God. That we are all forgiven for the things that we've done wrong. I may not intend to. I'm not trying to do anything wrong or take from anybody. But, you know, some people feel that I've done things wrong and I'm sorry um but I'm not going to go through life feeling like this and all frustrated and that nothing's working and spinning my wheels so um please help me to change that and I appreciate you so much um turn in this the hate that's projected at me into back into love being able to adapt and 